Morning. First video of the year. Christmas has just gone. January is upon us. A nice windy day on the west coast of Barbados. Southwest. I'm in an area called Brighton Beach. Funny enough, that terrible coloured house over there is where I used to live. Absolutely glorious beach here. Fantastic house. There's the local mechanic about to leave. So we're walking in. The entrance is shared by Villa Charmaine and Sunshine Paradise. Sunshine? Really, Alex? Hmm. <laughs> uh, the, the main house, it, it, you'll see as we go through, but the main house effectively is a uh, three bedroom. And the cottage, although it's much more than just a cottage, is two bedroom. Uh, owned by a couple that I've actually known for a long time now because of when I lived down the road. It, this is a beautiful house. Of course, it would be just a little bit cloudy now, but anyway. Persevere. By the way, for all of those who do watch the videos, I am going to lose the Battle of the Mirror today. You'll see why. Where we've stepped into now uh, is an extension. Uh, they've had quite a Glamorous? Is that the word? It's definitely not the word. Lovely staircase going upstairs to here. And they've created a little mezzanine floor where the lady says she sits and reads and the such like. But we're going to go through this this way. It is a very much a lived in home, guys. So bear in mind that you're not going to get that, you know, everything tucked away. And it's lived in. It's a proper home. As opposed to a fake home. Really? Just stop talking for a change. I don't know why I got sucked in by that earlier. I think it's the colours. I'm, I'm actually sounding like a simpleton this morning. I'm not sure what's going on. Anyway, marble splashbacks. Lovely big kitchen. Feels very open here, of course. The beach here is just to die for. Um, mosquito, magnetic mosquito curtains. You see outside there, of course. Just coming in here, the little TV nook and office. This actually could be a bedroom as well. Projector. I'm showing you up because... <coughs> because I can. <laughs> I think I've got a cold as well. These built-in wardrobes, uh, they're gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Anyway, go through to the bedroom wing. Uh, no point showing you in there, let's just uh, show you in here. Guest WC. This is the first defeat. 1 0 to mirrors. <laughs> no, that's just a downstairs guest WC, but I'll show you these ones again. First bedroom, uh, sort of half used as a Bedroom, half used as an office again. <coughs> the lady's partner passed away a while ago. Um, and so, oh, again, I, I mentioned this before, this room is not blue. Come on, seriously, sort yourself out. Anyway. So, um, lovely master bedroom downstairs. Fan air conditioning you don't need in a lot of this house because the breeze in this part is good, strong. Lovely cupboards, very classic, it's a very classic house. Reminds me very much of a house I grew up in, in Kingston. To give you an idea, the marble tops. And the toilet, of course. Right, I walk through here. I'm going to show you the main house first. We're going to go upstairs. So we're going back towards this blue thing. I hope it doesn't show up all blue because it's really frustrating. Gosh, tiptoeing like a ninja. Here's the, the mezzanine floor I mentioned and the entrance way below. 
Now what they've done here, which is absolutely lovely, is they've done the classic Caribbean thing where the ensuite bathroom, the walls don't extend all the way up to the ceiling. And the ceiling is beautiful, all the different angles, are absolutely gorgeous. Very expensive build. Um, <coughs> oh good, just what we want. So because the bathroom is fully enclosed, but because the walls don't extend to the top, it means any breeze that comes into these three windows will pass over and into the bedroom behind. Another bath. A lot of people hate baths. Even though I live in the Caribbean, I've been here 20 plus years. Absolutely love a bath. So this is the master. So you had two bedrooms downstairs. Fan and air conditioning in this one. That shows you the gap over the bathroom, as I mentioned. And it's got this wonderful little seating area here. And the room behind that they use for the grandchildren and the children and guests and such like. So it could be, uh, well, okay, it could be anything you want it to be. It could be your morning room. It's lovely. Oh, the breeze coming through there. I can't begin to tell you. Such a classic design. Now, the interesting thing is you do have the kitchen downstairs, but what you also have up here, the part of my hammock that I just want to get into and do nothing for the rest of the week, not the day, the rest of the week, glorious beach that's the cottage for whatever better word and up here you have full-on breakfast bar covered and an uncovered terrace and a full kitchen built-in grill cooker hob brilliant little chattel house which is another guest bedroom amazing and what a glorious morning we do have aerial video of this property as well. Pool, which is to some extent unusual when you're this close to the beach. <coughs> and Barbados, one of the only countries in the world which is growing in size each year. And not only in terms of coming out of the water, but in terms of because of the way they've understood now that the sand moves north and south along the beaches, when they put in small groins, it picks up the sand. So over a four or five year period, beaches are getting deeper and deeper and deeper. Um, deeper, some people would say wider. Okay, well let's look up here. There's a viewing platform up here, which I want to show you now. <sighs> Various solar panels up here, probably in truth, do need work. Not a lot needs work on here, but look at that. So this is all about embracing the beach. Absolutely beautiful. Right, Go downstairs without killing myself. I'm going to show you the guest cottage. First, so I'm going to go back down. I mean, I, I don't know. You, you can never be sure. I, I've done a few photos and videos lately that actually haven't looked that great. I'm really hoping this one shows this house in its glory. Because the feeling of space, of, of just... You just want to take your shoes off. It's one of those. Right, kick your shoes off. Done. Fantastic. Little pool downstairs, as I say. That used to be the old property line, just where you see the first gate. But because the high, you, you're allowed to occupy land a certain distance from the high water mark, and because the high water mark has extended so far out, the houses allowed, around here have been allowed to take on another 20, 30 foot. And the owner here actually hasn't taken on her full allocation. Just to the right here, we've got the garage. It's a single garage. Well, it's a single double garage because there are two garages at the front, you may have noticed when we walked in. Um, right, we're walking to the cottage here. There are two entrances to this cottage here. There's obviously the one I just walked through. Really, Alex? You walked through a door? Surely not. The good lady that rents this at the moment, 
as using this area as her office. Um, but the real, if you like, the main entrance is just here to the right. Again, guest WC down here. Try and turn the lights on so you get all very bright. I really should turn these. Now, this looks like a wall. A wall with a handle, you say. Well, this is, I just, I love quirky. Quirky, very good. So that can all slide back. So you can either have this whole thing slip back, which is what I've just done now. So now I'm going to back back up. And you'll see that the bedroom here, probably ideal to have if you've got a kid or something, but I don't know. And over here, we have a wall that looks like cupboards. And again, I mean, it's not much of a great reveal, but again, behind one of the doors, behind the door on the right, it is beautifully tiled, a very classic shower and bathroom louvers a lot of people don't like louvers I'm gonna go into my louver rent now <laughs> cue louver rent I used to hate them when I first came to the island I hated louvers and then you begin to realize well hold on a minute they offer you security they shut out the light so you don't need curtains and when they're open, the amount of breeze that comes through is more than any window could afford, especially when you've got a sash window like that that's half and half. I don't have the keys for this door, which is, I was going to say frustrating. It's not the end of the world because we've got the keys for the patio upstairs. But there's a little pond out there, which we'll go around and see in a moment. There's a little pond around there. We're 12 minutes in, so I'm actually going to hurry up now. Um, you'll all be getting bored out your brain. So downstairs, kitchen, living room, one bedroom. And then going upstairs, this is where I lose the battle. You have a large master bedroom, fan air conditioning, wonderful sunken bath, jacuzzi tub at that. Wonderful, really nice. Wonderful, seems to be my word for the day. And up here you get an idea of the patio. Still got the Christmas up. Actually, I reminds me I've got to take my blasted lights down at home. Look at that. How bad could that be? So there's a second entrance here to the right. Two sets of gates that can be utilized. Chap next door with his jet skis. Oh, there we go. There's the pond. Hope you can see that. Now I am going to run round. Oh, pillar. Here we go. Battle lost. Hello, everybody. <laughs> dear, dear. Right. Run out onto the beach before we hit blasted 15 minutes of video. It's too long. It is a big house and there is a lot to see, so what do I do? I either show you guys at home exactly what's what and how it works. Love this floor. Or I leave things to the imagination, which is the exact opposite of why the purpose of the video is. This video is probably going to be within the body of the description because I think the drone shot is probably even better inside the chattel house show you this so cute that's just so cute look at that I think I'd live in here yes not strange at all Alex downstairs patio the old border if you like sand in my feet and in my shoes Like I said, in my, or was like I said to someone earlier, in my opinion, the absolute best beach in Barbados. It's long, 
There's not many people here. I lived just by those palm trees and the casarina trees. Lovely. Look at that. There is a ship in today. Comes in normally for one day every week. Around the corners of an area they call the hot pot. It's Freshwater Bay. Obviously that's a bit more. But you know, people say, oh, I don't like the look of seeing that industrial stuff in the distance. Once you, once you get your head around it, you just suddenly realise how fantastic it is. Anyway, Sunshine Paradise, Brighton Beach, www.barbados-realestate.com. I did go on a bit today. Hope you enjoyed it.